Good afternoon. All right, what a mess. I'm out here in the garden. Um, for the last two days, it has really rained um, off and on, which normally doesn't bother me. But do you see how tall the grass is out here? Um, I normally mow this. And the I, I normally mow on Mondays, and this is Wednesday. And guess what? It's a week worth of growth plus two days. And as you can tell, it is tall. I don't like it because um, number one, we have kids out here to to um, visit the garden, and we don't want them having a big problem walking around, and and this is not fun to walk in. Okay, so um, one thing that I am proud of is look, I have tomatoes growing. I did this. Um, okay, not really. Uh, God did this because for a long time nothing grew. If you remember when we put this together, if you watch those videos at all. I worried nothing was growing, blah, blah, blah. We do have good stout stems. We have some that are um, kind of leaning over. That's the wind. Uh, they're very sun hardy, very... This dirt, everybody told me that there wasn't enough um, dirt for them. They need deep roots. This dirt goes down to this dirt that goes down to this dirt. So these tomatoes have access to, all the bottoms are open okay so those roots can go all the way down to the bottom so while the walls are these concave things there's nothing stopping these guys from having deep roots other than they're just not growing um the bell peppers look they're little bitty the basil they have all the space they need here's another basil um these are basil look at this they're starting to grow so i don't know if i need to plant them earlier plant them inside and start them out um, we tried to start some inside that it didn't work so I come out and drop seeds in these first three rows um, and so yeah it, it is what it is all right but I don't think the problem is, is that they don't have enough space for their roots because this dirt if you were to stick a stick all the way down you go all the way down to this bottom base to this line down here so the roots aren't the problem, but I do have some tomatoes. They've kind of gotten strong just in the blink of an eye. So I'm hoping, maybe. Um, all the rain has put on more blooms on our strawberries. The sheep got in here one day and kind of ate some things down, but we have, look at there, there's a nice, it's still white, but hey, we can, it'll uh, red up, I guess, in a little bit. Oh, there's another start. We'll pop, pop that off. And, get it going um i still haven't done anything with this bed um just running out of time so uh i'll get in here and get this weeded out um i took pulled the lemon so that's kind of a bare spot so that this could pull over but it hasn't really gone the way i wanted um the cucumbers okay so the storms came up and nearly ripped our little thing out of here, so RJ came out and he wired it. It's gotten loose since then with all the blowing and stuff. It's really um, pulling my cage over. And part of it is because, if you look, we have cucumbers in there. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so this cucumber is like short and fat. And they're not traditionally looking cucumbers. But look, that sucker is huge. It's still yellow. I think I'm going to harvest it today just because... And there's like little dinky ones in there. So I do have some harvesting to do. Um, I thought there was another one. Uh, I lose track of some of them, but there's one, two, three, four. I thought there was another one in here. Five, there he is. Anyway, okay, so I have cucumbers. I am gonna probably harvest that big one and see what we get out of it. Look at this. Okay, so these got eaten down by the goats. But look, it's starting to uh, put off a little runner. And look at this plant right here. This is amazing. Now, um, I'm not sure when to harvest this. So I talked to a friend, and she said when they're spoon size. So some of those might be too big. I'm going to harvest several different sizes, take them to the farmer's market, and see what people think. And whatever size they like, that's when I'll be harvesting. So... And of course that other plant's doing great too. So this is climbing spinach, doing wonderful. Um, the peach tree, 
I am just waiting for them to ripen up. Look at all of them. The, the tree itself is starting to hit the ground. I've been told I left too many on. I don't know. I'm thinking that because the bugs are getting some of them, I'm not going to get as many as what people think. I'm just happy to get one or two. Honestly, it's amazing. So, peaches, yay! And look over here at the apple tree. Just, just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful apples. Um, this tree we got like 10 off of this tree last year. That is doing so much better than we did last year. So, um, there's a couple up here on this tree in spots. See, you've got like three up there and over there and just little clusters. It's a little bit smaller tree, so that's okay with us too. This thing with the rain has gone crazy. Um, okay, so these were the two mystery gourds that the kids planted that I didn't know what was. I'm going to say loofah gourds because of the way the leaves look and the fact that they match those up there, okay? So these are going to be loofah gourds, but I haven't seen them put on anything. I've got vines and I've got weeds. I haven't actually seen any gourds. So um, we'll see how that goes. But it starts here. And I tried to make these guys go the other way. Um, I'm, I'm literally picking them up. I know this isn't the best video, sorry. Picking them up and sending them packing the other way. Now there's a reason I'm doing that and that is because these are honeydew melons and they had some flowers on them which means I should get some roots. Ooh, that's a weed. Um, which means I should get some fruit off of them. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to keep the honeydew melon going that way and the loofah gourd going that way. It's not working. Just saying. Um, okay. So over here we have, again, I tried to train my plants. Why I thought I could do that, I don't know. We have lupa gourd planted out here, headed that way, right? And we have cucumbers going up. I have cucumbers going way up, and I'm tickled with that. But in amongst here is also a watermelon plant, which has some blooms on it. So RJ is super, super stoked about that. And in here we have dragon's egg cucumber oh there's a bug on one booger you are not getting that one <sighs> and getting them off i'll have to come back and do it i can't just pinch it oh there it goes of course there it went um these are dragon's egg cucumbers and they are amazing i picked two and they were kind of like a greenish white and they taste like cucumbers so i'm assuming they're uh, what do you call it? Ripe? So, yeah. And there's some more in there um, that aren't ready. There's a, a little guy down there. This is so dense, I seriously lose some. I, 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 I'm happy, but yeah, I lose some. And look at how tall. This cattle panel is as tall as my head. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's really growing. And, and I'm okay with that. Now, we have... The bell peppers here, if you remember, I had five bell peppers and the rabbit got in and ate them off. One is coming back. Two is coming back. And there's a third right over there that it didn't find. So, um, here's some more. Uh, these are volunteer. I don't know what they are, but they are there. So, I'm going to take that. Uh, the other thing that I'm looking at here is... I'm not real sure. This is the loofah gourd. I think that cluster right there is what makes the gourds. Because I found one other one. Where was that thing at? Um, like right here. No, that was leaves. There was one other one of these things. And I think that's what makes the gourd. But I'm not sure. So we'll find out. We will find out. But I think this little guy is a watermelon. There's another watermelon in there. Oh, we've got cat riders coming through. They probably won't stop. It's the wrong time of day unless they've got problems and I'll have to run them to town. And we'll just watch from here. You can see the driveway inlet right there. Um, there's a stop sign up there. And they are not needing me because they have driven on. So I only walk up there if they need me. <laughs> That's terrible. 
but I do. Okay, so back to the garden. All right, we got a couple of things going on down here. First off, the wind came and just beat my tomato plant, my good thick tomato plant, all to fire. Then we have this that will not drain. Um, we have drilled holes after holes after holes, and we're not sure why it won't drain, but I can stick my head, in, my head, my hand in there and stir it all up and get a mucky mess, and it still doesn't drain, so I'm not sure why. Um, we may actually lose that rosemary, and if we do, I'll have to dump that tub and start all over. A and all of these were done the same way, so you can see it's not the um, method that I used. It's that tub. I don't know what its problem is, but look here. Look at the little lavender flowers. I'm not harvesting lavender this year because I prefer to let the roots get really strong before I start taking stuff. Um, now, I've harvested two zucchinis off of this, and look, there's more blooms! So I will have more zucchini, I think. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, now this one right here, they have something on them, but I don't think they're zucchini. Um, they're right there. So I'm going to say this is a different kind of squash. This is my thyme, and it is a perennial, so once I get it established, it will be there. And remember, next year, that and this won't be here, and neither will this. Okay, so I had catnip planted in here, and you can see that there's little um, things in here. But the problem is, is that something else came up, and it is pretty much feeding the bugs. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It might be watermelons. Our kid would be tickled with that. Don't know, but we're letting it go. And then I had two bell peppers over here, and something ripped them out by the roots. <sighs> this little dude is a weed. Look at how long that root is. You know that those tubs can establish good long roots in anything if that weed can do it. So, I just need something to survive long enough to get a good root. And that, that's the whole point. I'm trying. All right, now. I have a fire pit. I know that doesn't make anybody else happy but me. But, and they threw some dirt, some wood in here that's got to be burned up. But RJ saw one of these, uh, they called it a fire ring. And it was exactly that corrugated metal done in a circle. And it wasn't as tall as that. And you were to dig it down about, I don't remember how many inches, down in the ground, and then you could have a fire pit. Okay, well we had this old water trough, and after RJ looking at it, he's like, Mom, I can make you a fire pit. I said, really? So he came out here and he made his dad help, which made his dad mad. Um, and they dug this down in the ground. It is quite deep, which is fine by me. Um, they also make these screens. I've got to measure and make sure they'll fit, but I think they'll fit so I could cook on it. It, it goes this way. Now this one's oval because it is a stock tank. Um, the ones that RJ saw were round, and the grill was made to go across the round one, which this is the same width as the round one, just not the same length. Does that make sense? I don't know. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the dirt, and of course the guys are like, we got the fire pit in, here's some wood in it, and we're out of here. So. They left me a pile of dirt. The other thing that I did was these trees, if you've heard the saga of these trees, um, I have two pecan trees, all right, one back there and one here. Um, the first year that they were planted, a rabbit came up and bit them off to about that tall. And I was advised by our extension agent, I am friends with him and I stand by what he says, but I got lazy and we found out a little different, okay? Every gardener will tell you if they're bit off that tall, might as well go get another one because there's no leaves, there's no anything, and they probably won't come back. Um, this is two years later, not the first year. The first year I couldn't even find the little stick things. Um, the second year um, we put these things out around them and it's just a barrel cut up. And I protected them. I put a little wool around there with their little old bitty nubby. And this is what we have today. So this is two years later after a rabbit.
came and ate them off down to the nub. And as you can tell, they're both doing pretty good. They are, I am five foot three and three quarters, or two and three quarters. Anyway, I'm five foot three. And these come up to about my chest. So I'm really happy with that. You know, from little nub to that, beautiful. But those rings that were on them, you had to slide up over the whole tree. So I took those off and put actual plastic tree rings that I had located in a separate area around these trees so that I can remove them later. This is going to be weeded and mulched and we're going to get um, them going like we did on all of these. If you'll notice all the trees have grass grown under them. That's because they're mulched in with wool that holds more moisture so that these guys will get to doing wonderful. Um, and we'll do and more than just a little layer of wool. We're going to hump it up and do good. Then the other day I was down here and I I love this bed. I love the way it's done. It means taking care of it is so easy. So, 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 so easy. Um, I weeded it and weeded it around it and it made it look brand new because literally to get the weeds out, you just go like this, pull them up. Of course, now I'm finding one I can't pull up. But anyway, and then you just kind of, and you can get down low so you can pull them up from the root. And then out they go. And I am, of course, not doing very good with the camera in my hand. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me. But I did the whole thing in nothing flat. And I really liked it. So we're getting more little berries in there for the strawberries. Oh, I have a text. Wow. All right. The other thing, and I have to look along here. This is crazy. I lose it. So... Uh, we're just gonna walk along. But a friend gave me some mulberry starts. <sighs> Something ate off the one, and so I have one left. Okay, let's just put it that way. There were some other little sticks in here, and I came out one day and only had this one left. So, oh, I'm not, I'm sorry, they're not mulberry, they're elderberry. Elderberry starts. See, I don't even know what I have. That's a problem. But anyway, um, you can look up in here. This is the pear tree that I whizzed right on back past. I was so, woohoo, we have peaches. If you look up in there, there's a couple of pears. Um, we're going to do some more thinning on these trees and get them back down to where they should be. So that um, if I prune this year, I probably won't have as much fruit next year. But um, because it grows on next year's growth. But I will have them under control and have them topped so that they're not real tall and I'll be able to harvest the tops. Um, so, anyway, I think that's about it. I'm super excited things are growing, but it looks horrible. Oh my gosh, the, the uh, grass is out of control and I don't have wood chip garden, but you know, this is in the making. Okay, so hopefully this someday will be a total little strolling garden thing like I had in town. Um, in town I just had flowers so I didn't have food and I had a lot of perennials that just came back. Um, a lot of those plants that I had unfortunately are poisonous to the sheep so I'm having to start all over and that's why I don't know the vegetables and I don't know the things you know. I do want to find if anybody out there knows where I can find the old marigold seeds. Um, those two red little things that I made into um, flower containers next to the swing. I want those with the old stinky marigolds. Those work to repel bugs and I don't want any hybrids. So if anybody knows a good place to get marigolds, I'm going to try rareseeds.com. So um, they, they have older things but I don't want any hybrids. Um, we'll see. Also, RJ of course had to do some emergency fixing. So this is out here. My pots have gotten turned. The wool is out here so I can put it around the trees. And it's just a mess. A mess, a mess. Oh, dragonfly. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but it's beautiful black and gold. Sorry. I get distracted easily, can you tell? So me and my cucumber from the bug is going to go to the house. And um, yeah. Oh, and guess what else I did? Since there's cucumbers in the garden. I made cucumber soap. 
and it's actually cucumber and goat's milk and just so you people that watch this will have a little tidbit of news ahead of everyone else um, we're actually working on a new online shop um, so yeah we're super excited about that also if you have not entered our um, giveaway for the herbs um, I suggest you go and uh, it was on our weekly update and it says like two chances to win four chances to enter per person or whatever anyway um, up for grabs we're, we're paying shipping handling everything and we will mail you herbs if your name is drawn so go give the two code words and post photos on Facebook if you can so anyway I will talk to y'all later and I'm gonna go upload this oh there comes some wind and here's a sheep just because we're walking through and we get back to the house so me and my little cucumber are out on a walk we will see you next time Thank you.